what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about an interesting rumor potential news as far as cards are concerned with regards to tops and basketball cards but before we get started i would really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button drop a like as well as you may or may not know Panini has the license to basketball jerseys and the NBA stuff. Topps has the license to baseball. With baseball, Topps is the main card because they have the MLB logos and jerseys. But Panini also makes baseball cards like Optic and Donruss and Prism where they don't have the MLB uniforms or logos but they're still Panini baseball cards with the big players. So it seems as if Topps is going to be doing the same thing with basketball cards potentially. It has been over a decade since we've seen Topps basketball cards. Some of the most iconic basketball cards of all time like Kobe's rookie card, LeBron's rookie card, Kevin Durant rookie card. Those are all Topps basketball cards because back then Topps could use the NBA jerseys too but now it's only Panini. Topps hasn't made any basketball cards with or without the jerseys since they lost the NBA license to Panini. I hope, hopefully this is making sense. I know it sounds all confusing. So recently there's been a couple instances that have hinted at a Topps basketball card return. Um, so we'll go back to last year, 2019-20. Tyler Hero posted this picture on his story where he was signing a bunch of, like a stack of basketball cards. And if you look closely, there's a little Topps Chrome logo in the bottom of the cards. So you know that these are Topps cards. So this created some buzz having people think that Topps is going to be releasing a 2019-20 basketball card set for the rookies like Zion, Tyler Hero, John Morant, because this picture was posted. There wasn't much known about it, but according to this blog that I was reading, many months went by without hearing anything. During the 2020 Topps Industry Conference, the product's fate was officially confirmed. According to the Topps GM, David Liner, the product doesn't exist anymore. So it looks like in 2019-20, they were going to be taking a shot at basketball cards, um, releasing some sort of Topps Chrome NBA 2019-20, and it got scrapped. But recently, a picture was posted um, by Kenny Anderson, a former NBA player who played for the Nets, Celtics, um, and a few other teams. He posted this picture, it says, getting it done at Starbucks, my people. Um, and if you zoom in this picture, you can see he's signing cards, and then there's a little label, it looks to say either 22 or 2023, Topps Finest Basketball. This leads us to believe that if a basketball player is signing basketball cards from Topps, saying 2022, 2023, Topps Finest Basketball, that we are going to be getting Topps basketball cards hopefully in the next year or in the near future. I have a feeling it'll probably just be vets and retired players like a set like that. They obviously can't use the NBA jersey so they have them here with like a suit and tie I think that's in the picture. So it should be interesting to see how they how they tackle this but I think most likely it'll probably be just like retired NBA players a set like that for Topps Finest and if they're releasing Topps Finest maybe they'll be doing other Topps products as well, if it does well. Wax Museum Podcast, they said, I missed this yesterday, it looks like we're getting a new Topps Finest basketball product. Check out the label on the box. So that's how I heard about this. This the NBA player even retweeted this. So Topps Finest 2022 or 2023, is in the cards so be on the lookout for something like that i just thought i'd give you that announcement that tops basketball cards look to be coming back would you buy them even though they wouldn't have the nba jerseys or nba logos it would just be all about the players similar to what panini does with baseball so thanks guys have a good one